So hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas. And as you can see, I'm not in a gardening situation here. I'm actually up in an attic at a house that we're renting. And in order to try and save the, uh, well, basically the home homeowners, they had somebody come in and test uh, this heating and air conditioning system. And basically they were told that they have to replace the entire system. So I took it upon myself to start troubleshooting a little bit. And uh, basically out at the air conditioning unit, I checked to see that um, I was getting 120 volts out there. Um, Cause once, and basically that's way back there outside. Um, so but once you establish that you're getting power out there, then you got to kind of follow the wires upstairs. Um, so I did that. I followed the wires upstairs and um, so, Owen, oh, just so you guys know, this is a, uh, um, well, there you go. That's the name of it right there. Um, so if you have this system, I'll put it in the, the, uh, description, um, or, you know, in the description of the video, but basically if you have this system, there is a motherboard in here. Um, so anyway, so I followed the wire up. Remember I was getting 120 volts way outside, followed the wires up here. And this is basically where they go. They come in here and you see these two white wires right there that are going into that transformer, the white and the black one. Okay. I had to check to see that I was getting 120 volts there. And then in the hallway downstairs, that's where I started losing power. I wasn't getting 24 volts. So that transformer transforms the power going in or coming out of that orange wire and that gray wire. It uh, transforms it down to 24 volts. Okay. So I checked it there. I was getting 24 volts. Okay. Then basically took that wire. It goes into a little junction. Sorry that I'm here. It goes into a little junction right here that has all the wires that go downstairs to the hallway. Okay. So we look closely there. You can see right up there. Okay. So those little wires, I was getting 24 volts there. Followed that wire down. And it comes right here. And then it goes into these two wires. And this actually removes condensation. Okay. So I removed um, the old pump, I put a new one in, and it was working for a while, but it stopped again. And I'm like, what the heck? So the new pump is installed. I think it was a combination of the pump being bad too, because this pump was just old. Now I got a brand new one. If you guys want to get one of these, I'll put it in the description below, but that's what it is right there. Um, so basically this removes condensation up this pipe and then all the way out back towards the uh, air conditioning unit. So I was getting 100, or I was getting 24 volts here, okay? 24 volts that goes into here. If this isn't pumping out the water, it'll cut the 24 volts and it won't go down into the hallway. So you won't be getting the 24 volts down into the hallway. So I was still getting 24 volts all the way to here, but then it was intermittently stopping. And on this board, let me get the light off of it. On this board, there's that little LED right there. You see that red LED? There's also a fuse. Nine times out of ten, it is the fuse. Um, but it was not the fuse. So I had to troubleshoot this board. And come to find out, the actual board was no good. Um, I had a friend come in and test it everywhere on the board. And it ended up being bad. So I looked on Amazon because they have everything. And wouldn't you know it, they had this board, okay? It is the White Rogers board. It's the 50M56-743. And this is for this one, okay? So you gotta match it up, you know, with your system. But basically, this is the one that I needed for this. So I'm gonna change out the board. I'm going to put the part uh, in the description below as well as the pump in the description below. If you have this system, um, this might be your issue. The management company that manages this place or the owner that manages this place was told that they had to replace the entire system, which is baloney. So trying to save them money and this will probably save them about $10,000, $15,000 actually. 
So hopefully this works out. So let's replace the board. And how you would do it is you would take the new board, put it down somewhere close, and then just take out one wire at a time. You wanna take this off first, like the board off, and then just match up the wires and start plugging them into the new board. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. And by the way, once you pull this off, it cuts the power there. So that little switch cuts all power to this. You wanna make sure that your power is cut. Okay, so power is cut. Um, but just in case, I have a furnace on and off. So it's on the off position. If you wanna get real technical, you can take a multimeter and check to see if you're getting 120 volts there. 120 volts will kill you. So follow this if you want, but it's your responsibility to make sure that power is cut off to here. Don't be intimidated, So, but use wisdom. All right. Okay, that mess needs to go on this fresh. That mess, this fresh, okay? So basically you just gotta start pulling wires one at a time. So these bottom two, see that? The orange and the red, orange and the red, okay? Make sure when you're buying your board, you know, cause look, look up your model. I mean, through the link that I got below, you can get something close to it at least and just make sure that you're matching them up. You know, look at your board, look at the board, look at every switch, everything on there and then make sure you're just matching them up. So this one looks exactly like the one that's up there, just a different color. This one's green, that one's like a beige. So let's go ahead and start pulling wires. Okay, so far so good. Pulled some wires from off of here and I got them all plugged in here so far. I gotta plug that one in better. But so far so good. I'm just gonna get to the end of this and then I'm gonna take all those off individually and put them on the new ones over there. I got the new board put in. This is the old board and I didn't see anything visibly wrong with it. You want you can pause the video and see if you can see anything but i didn't see anything on this board anyways i'm going to um i mean it's missing the fuse but i took the fuse out myself so i don't know maybe something just came unsoldered or something but uh, i can't figure it out and it was cheap enough to just replace the board so yeah all right guys so the moment of truth here when i hit this if this board's working this one was not working when i did this because that light didn't come on if this board's working that led right there and you're not going to see it of course because yeah you know, hold on let me turn off the camera light okay so now this board is in darkness because i turned off the light we're going to push that button but before we do that let's head over to here and let's Turn the power back on. <laughs> I was pushing it before I did this part of the video, but um, it wouldn't come on. So let's go ahead and let's do it together. Okay. LED should come on. We should hopefully hear some noise, like something. Anyway, let's do it. Yes. Come on. Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right. So got our LED. Now we're gonna wait the 10 minutes. I gotta shut this door though, and then I'm gonna start the timer for the 10 minutes. And then hopefully we get air conditioning. Yeah. All right, took the button off, light went out. Okay, I plugged this back in, and I'm gonna see these, that portal? There's one here. I don't know what this one's for, but that one, you should be able to see the light, uh, the LED through it. Um, and remember, when you put this door back on, Sorry for the blurriness. When you put the door back on, that switch gets depressed by even just the door closing. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn off the light in the attic and check that portal with no light on here. Let me see. Well, yeah, boy, I see red light in there. So, yeah, it's on. I can't key in on it, but anyway, it's on in there. So... Just waiting 10 minutes. Uh, this is the system. I don't know that this is part of it. I don't think this is, I think, well, I mean, it's part of it, but you know what I'm saying. So, um, yeah. Uh, 
I'm gonna put this on the cover. Take this, and I'll I'll stretch it across the thumbnail photo. But yeah, this is the heating and air conditioning um, control box or whatever this is. So anyway, want to get results though. So let's see if this fixed it. Another thing that I did not mention to you guys and that I probably should have. This line goes all the way out. Obviously, I did tell you this part. This line, that copper line goes all the way out. I took an air compressor um, to blow out any junk that might be preventing this pump from pumping out water. Um, and uh, still, I didn't have a problem. But this might be your issue. You might have a clogged um, exit tube. Um, this, this right here is basically a check valve so the water can't backflow. Um, but if there's something clogging this line that goes all the way out to your drainage, you might have to replace this. It might have a kink in the hose, something. Um, kink, maybe someone outside pushed it up and kinked the hose and you can get junk stuck in there and you can't get it out. So this basically fills up to a certain point and then it drains it, fills it up, drains it, fills it up, drains it, okay? So that's basically what this is. Um, so not the best way to do things, but this is the way this unit was, uh, hooked up. So, um, oh, you know what? I'm seeing something right now that can come in handy for all you YouTubers. All you dying YouTubers. Okay. Let me see here. Looks like we have directions or maybe info on this exact model here. Um, possibility this is the one take a screenshot of that okay let's see sorry about the crude filming here but i'm i'm not the one uh, humidifier instruction what the heck vault humidi humidifier wire installation instructions Looks like this had a different system before. Uh, limited warranty. Oh, it's under warranty. Gas fired warm furnace. Taking photos as I go along here, guys. Is this it? I think this might be it. Or I'm taking photos. Anyways. Let's see if we get results though. 10 minutes is almost up. Sorry, I've been talking your ear off. I'm just really excited. I hope this works because I gotta get my family cooled off. So I know muffins just not, she's not doing well. Just about 10 minutes. We probably should wait a little longer, but I'm excited. I hope this works. So I'm gonna go down the stairs here or down this ladder to that wall unit there. Okay, everything is off. Let's go ahead and let's turn on coal. It came on. It came on? Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. So I'll feel it. Oh, it's that vent's closed because it got it gets cold in here. All right, right here. Oh yeah, it's already cold. All right, I'm not gonna waste this time. Lord, thank you <laughs> for giving me wisdom to fix this air conditioner. Hopefully this helps someone out there with this unit in particular. I will put all the stuff you guys need to know in the description below. And I look forward to getting any questions. I actually can answer questions on this one, you guys, um, because I did a lot of the work myself. Um, but yeah, we have it set to 74. Hopefully it goes down. Uh, it will, I can feel the cool air already. So um, if you guys need help, um, please post in the comment section below. I would love to help anybody with this air conditioning unit, especially on wire testing. Um, always be safe with the wire testing. Descriptions for the, you know, the the motherboard in the description below, as well as the pump. 
And then, um, yeah, any questions you guys have, let me know. We may even, um, I do have uh, home farm ideas. I do have um, an Instagram. It's uh, home farm ideas, basically. So at home farm ideas. Uh, DM me and send me photos of your actual motherboard. Maybe we can figure it out together. Um, but yeah, I'd love to help you guys. So anyway, God bless you guys. And like always, peace. I'm going to close this up, but, uh, peace. I know not a home farm idea, but I guess it is right. But not farm. It's just trying to handle things around the house. So anyway, still love you guys. Peace.